Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is July 10th, 2023. So it's Monday. Uh, I believe it would be the second Monday in July. So, but aside from that, I to <laughs> remind anyone that's watching, we'll see how far this gets. And then we'll determine whether or not I upload it. Okay. Um, I just want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, you just play the great. If it doesn't, then don't force it to be your story. Don't make it yours, all right? So there's a possibility that I may or may not upload this video, so we will see what happens. So, uh, for the most part, I'm going to start off with a couple of these cards and then go from there. This is also a test video to see how well this microphone works. I'm still getting complaints in my audio. Huh? I'm getting complaints in my audio. Oh. Was it just that one video? No? I feel like I've seen some of the recent ones and they seem fine to me. It was yeah. just that one. I also had my earbuds in though, because after that one I did put my earbuds in. Mm -hmm. And that one video with the earbuds in, it was great. Okay. Um, and then every other one I watched with my earbuds and it was fine. So. That makes sense. I think it was because I was outside, so I had the computer a little bit bit, bit the way, mm -hmm. and I also had the headphones in, so. Mm -hmm. The sun. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, and it like zoomed in and out, that's cool. So this is something that's currently happened. This is like an action that's being done. This is something you guys are currently doing. We have demonstrate, realize, act like a leader. So you are just in this leader position. People are looking up to you. People are following your guidance, your advice. And on top of that, you're a natural at this. And because you're a natural at this, and it, this seems like this is something you were born to do. And now that you're finally in this role that you should have been in, on a while ago, for a while, it's just, you feel good. Like at peace in a sense. I'm also seeing the moon, lots of intuition, which is interesting because I just did a reading where I was talking about intuition a lot. So it's like the more you follow your intuition, the more you're able to be in this leadership role. It's just bringing you happiness. So let me see, yeah, the sun. This is something that's currently happening at the moment. I like that. That's great. All right, so I'm going to pull some of these and then, you know, go from there, see what happens. Wow, four for four protection. The universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. So, yeah. The more you listen to your intuition, the more you're leading the way you should be leading. All right, and this is not, you're not being a leader in a very obnoxious, egotistical way. This is like a, a gentle guiding hand, right? Um, the more you do this and the more you allow yourself to be present in this role, you're realizing that you're being protected only for the sole fact that um, this is something you should be doing. Like, this is your job in a sense, right? And God would be your boss and you would be the employee, so God is protecting his employee. Because you're doing your job. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, boy. Let's see. This card keeps coming out a lot. This toxic relationship card. I'm just going to put it to the side. I'm not really going to touch it. Um, it's like somebody wants to be known in your energy. And, which is interesting because you're over here being busy leading and being happy and you're being protected um this other energy is on the outskirts they just want to be known uh, it's like i know you're happy but don't forget that i'm a toxic person that is around you we have he slash he wants to set you up watch out and the letter e could be somebody's first last middle initial name of word or place yeah, this person, whoever this person is, they see you in your, your role, fulfilling your role. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, being a leader, right? Um, you're also happy with this job of yours, this leadership role of yours. This could actually be in a work environment where just like 
taking a leadership role in your family or your community or whatever this is, but this is something that is natural to you and it's very apparent that it's making you feel good and you're happy doing this. Now there's other energies on the outside and they just want them to they just want to be known in your energy. He slash she wants to set you up, watch out. It's very difficult for this person to find a way into your environment, especially when you're in sun energy and you're protected on top of that. Um, the letter E, I'm just going to put that in the middle until we figure out what that is. You know this people person? Oh. Yeah, you know these people person. So I feel like if you're just, you're too focused on your leadership role to even realize what's going on in the background, because this is really what this is. This is just background energy. So I feel like that's another reason why this person, they're envious of how happy you are in your leadership role. There's a lot of envy coming from this person. I feel like this is the reading like I did earlier. It's still too hot. We have practice self love. Oh wait, no, do some meditating. <laughs> and practice self-love. Huh. I really feel like this is... One of the best ways to knock someone down who is born for a leadership position is to mess with their mind and to mess with how they see themselves and how they feel about themselves and to get them all out of sorts. Um, one of the best ways to prevent this from happening, you being the collective's point of view, is to meditate on your, your wants, focus on your self-love, relax, breathe, and allow this leadership position role to just come to you, or just sit in it, just let it happen. Don't try to fight it. A lot of the times, people in the collective, they are born leaders, but they just, don't want to take that job because of all the responsibilities that come with being a leader. And then when you fight trying to be this leader that you were born to be, you kind of lose sense of yourself, your way, what you're supposed to be doing, blah, 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 blah all that stuff. Mom, can I have some ice cream? Yeah, I feel like, um, one of the main reasons, this person has a lot of envy towards, um, so there's the karmic and then there's collective. Whoever this person is, their main emotion right now is envy, only because of the fact that whoever this person is in the collective, they were just naturally born to be a leader. Like, this is somebody who, they say something and people just want to, like, listen to them. Like, you just want to take their advice, you just want to follow them, you just want it, to, it doesn't even have to do with their looks or their job or their lifestyle it's just something that they carry within them whoever this person is um that's their biggest like the thing whatever is inside of this person it's like that's the main thing that triggers them about this collective this karmic is really triggered of the fact that this collective is like a natural leader i keep saying that because that's like really what this spread is about so if you weren't a natural leader, this person would have no reason to be jealous of you. But that's really what it is. This person could have more money than you, could have more money, cars, clothes, friends. But because of the simple fact that when you decide to stand up for something and you put your foot down, you get a sense of um, audience, you get a sense of like respect. Like It's just like a change of events. Like You can cause change just by saying no. And this person could say no all they want, and they, it doesn't have the same effect. It's because there's different things inside this karmic and this person, this collective.
Hold on one second, I gotta reply. Alright, so let's get some tarot and see what's going on. We got the Three of Wands. Reverse. This could be somebody... Hold on. This could be somebody who... Also, there's a difference of lifestyle, too, in this situation. This could be somebody who was forced to kind of, like, go back home or back to their own state or country or whatever it was. This could be somebody who had to go back home and start all over or had to go back to the drawing board and start all over. But they're waiting for something, but whatever they're waiting for is not happening because... The more that they see you being in this leader, the more that they're realizing that what they're waiting for is just not happening for the collective. It could be the fact that they were trying to set you up. So the more that they're waiting for this setup to happen, it's just not happening because they see you being more in this leadership leadership role, leadership position. You could also be the kind of person that's starting to take more responsibility for the, the their life, their actions, being more serious about their role in life. So the more serious that you become about your life, the longer they're just waiting for nothing. I'm curious as to what they were trying to set you up for though. I feel like it's failure but it's not happening so if they're trying to set you up for failure it's not happening because you're being more responsible and you're also being you're becoming more aware because you're practicing self-love so you're becoming more self-aware and you're just paying attention to the things that are that you should be paying attention to and the more that you do this the more that they're just waiting for nothing. Nothing's happening for this person. They're waiting for something that's never going to come in, which is your sense of failure, your your personal downfall. The hangman. You could be going on a spiritual journey. Oh this has to be. Yeah, so there's a spiritual journey happening for you. And you're seeing things from a different perspective now. Um, the hangman is also Pisces, which is also 12th house energy. Wow. So this toxic relationship could be any kind of relationship, like uh, a coworker, a friend, a family member. Um, it could be the relationship that you have with a certain hobby or a certain lifestyle. Whatever toxic relationship is in your life or around you, you need to watch out for that. Also, you're realizing that as long as you stay in this position that you were born to be in, um, you're going to stay protected. Keep practicing your self-love. Oh, there's something about um, you're not hungry at night. Like, um, maybe before you used to go to bed hungry, but now, like, you eat perfectly fine. Like, you don't miss any meals. You know that saying, like, I miss no meals. The Ten of Cups, yeah. So not only are you going on a spiritual journey, but you're trying to find what emotionally fulfills you, but like in a healthy way. This could be your family. Um, this could be friends. This could be job. Whatever this is. But I also feel like this is also like a, a self journey. This is two journeys that you're going on. You're going on a spiritual journey and a spiritual um, spiritual journey and a journey of self. 
So the more you go towards the spiritual journey, you're able to realize what it is that's bringing you emotional fulfillment, what's making you happy, what's filling you up inside. So I literally just said something about um, you're not going to bed hungry, okay? So that could mean like literal food that you have food to eat at night, so you're not going to bed hungry. But it's also more going towards the fact that you're not going to bed feeling empty at night, right? You're being... You, there are some people that they can eat and eat and eat, but they still feel empty. I feel like in this sense for you, Collective, um, it doesn't even matter. Like you, you cannot eat all day, but you can still feel perfectly fine. This is bringing you a sense of a, um, emotional, like you're feeling full, like from self or your emotions or your spiritual. Yeah, you're not going to bed hungry at night. Like you're feeling full. But this is good. This is like um, like a fullness of like sense of love, a sense of self. I really feel like it's more a sense of love. Like the more you love yourself, the more you feel full, the more you feel full, the more you go to bed feeling more comfortable at night. Um, also, try not to um, drink. Well, try not to ingest things that are bad for you. I don't mean like food. I mean like listening to bad advice or listening to things that you shouldn't be listening to or watching things you shouldn't be watching. Just be careful of what that you consume. That's what I'm looking for. Just be careful of the things that you consume because um, a lot of the times what we think is going to make us feel good, it's most likely not. And you're already in a journey where you're trying to feel full at night. It's really about self-love. So don't confuse that fullness of being self-love, uh, uh, the fullness of self-love with like consuming things that are just like empty. Like people think that drinking all day is gonna make them feel good at night, but you're, they're just consuming things that it's not good for them, and you know, lets you know that they stay still feel empty at night. Seven of Wands in reverse. So this is definitely some sort of attack. This could be, um, this is not a physical attack. This is more like a spiritual attack. And whoever's throwing these attacks at you, it's not working. They're not protected. And it's interesting because we have 444 protection. The universe and the spiritual guides are protecting you. So you're protected. And this person that's throwing things at you, they're not protected at all. There's nothing that they can do. So not only are they not protected, they're waiting for something to come in for you, like a sense of failure, and it's not happening. So just be cautious of that. I feel like that's what they want you to consume, that sense of like, um, what was me, I don't love myself, but here you are, you're actively practicing self-love. This is something that you're currently doing at the moment, practicing self-love. So the more that they're trying to get you to consume the sense of doubt, it's not happening. That's, that's what that is. That's what that consumerism thing is. It wants you to consume sense of self-doubt. Oh my gosh, wow. Um, if this person they're trying to throw chaos and drama your way, it's not happening because it's being stopped. Like As soon as they even have the idea, oh, I'm gonna mess with them today, it's not happening. Or it doesn't affect you the way it would have before. I gotta switch. I should have brought my other there. hangman again so we had the hangman out here twice upright so it's obvious that you're very serious about your spiritual journey okay I'm back so 
with the hangman on your twice upright on top of that, um, you're very serious about your spiritual journey. Very serious. You're taking this very serious. I also feel like um, one of the things that whoever this karmic enemy thing is, Um, one of the things that they're waiting for is information. Um, they sent a monitor. Like a monitoring spirit. They sent a monitoring spirit. They're waiting for that monitor to gather information on you. Figure out how you're practicing self-love. What you're doing. How's it going? Why are you happy? Uh, what's making you so serious about this leadership position in your life? What's making you so serious about yourself, about your responsibilities? They're waiting for that information to come in, but it's not happening because every time they send something out, it just gets blocked and deflected because you have protection here. And you're in sun energy, so it's like anything that comes near you, it just gets like, I don't know, it just disintegrates. Like, it's just, we have no part to that. Like, your guys are not allowing anything to, like, interfere with your journey, especially considering how serious you are. So a lot of this is really, the more serious you become about this journey of yours, the more difficult it becomes for you to consume things that are not good for your health, your mind, your body, spirit. And that could just be simple, something simple as alcohol or drugs, um, but it could also be self-deprecation, the way you view yourself, the way you love yourself, the way you allow people to enter your, your boundaries, lack of boundaries, do you have boundaries, things like that. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Oh. <laughs> there don't, I don't see you losing anything. There's nothing that you're losing. I feel like this person, they're just wasting their time. If anybody's losing anything, it's just them wasting time. Losing time because the one thing that you cannot get back is time. So you're spending your time on your journey, on yourself. And this person, they're waiting around, spending their time waiting for your downfall. But nothing's happening. Um, I also feel like this could just be... Oh my gosh. Um, this could be the ego versus the id. I mentioned this in my one of my readings like six, eight months ago. So ego versus id. Ego would be, um, the best way I can put it is like, the ego would be the devil and then the id would be like the spirit. So this is a battle between yourself. A battle within yourself between yourself. And the more that you try to be in your highest good, your karmic negative self node self is trying to prevent that from happening. So, yeah, it goes either way. This is either your ego trying to kind of like make themselves known again. Like, hey, don't forget about me. We're most important. Meanwhile, the spirit is like, but you're not though. Because we have a responsibility to be doing. We have work to do. And the ego is like, well, no, the work that you should be putting is only in, you know, physical pleasures in life. And then the spirit is like, but no, because... When I was focused on my ego, I went to bed hungry. But now that I'm focused on my spirit, I'm going to bed full. So I really do feel like this is really about the ego versus id. Um, at, in this situation, the ego has no power and they're losing um, that grasp. One of the main reasons why people have so much trouble with like their sense of self is because they just feed the ego. Realize, and it's not until like the end of their life that they realize that the ego has done nothing for them. And there's nothing wrong with having ego, but it's when you feed too much into it, that's the problem. So this could be your ego or somebody's ego is just getting really out of control. And they think that they can just do whatever they want. We have the Eight of Swords reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you're no longer trapped by your own mind. You're freeing yourself. 
And you're putting your time, your energy, your love, everything that you have, you're putting it in things that matter. You're investing it. You could also be investing in a new business, working on a new business, a new job. But for the most part, this is talking about where you're putting your investments now that you no longer feel trapped and bound. With the Knight of Pentacles here, um, the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. I would say to... Um, <laughs> Hold on. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, um, I feel like whoever is in their ego or this is your own ego, it wants you to make hasty decisions and be impulsive. It's like, oh, now that you have all this energy, now that you're free, now that you're able to make the decisions that you want to make, you should do this, this, and this, this, and this, and don't even think about it, which is very um, dangerous. Especially since the fact that you're working on your spiritual journey and you're trying not to consume things that are not good for you, right? For your mind, body, soul, spirit. Um, being impulsive is also a surefire way to make the wrong decisions. That's another thing that they're waiting for. They're waiting for you to be so impulsive and feel like you're so on top of the world and you're so free to do whatever you want. You have all this self-love. You have all this power. You're just bound to mess up and make a mistake, right? That's what they're waiting for. So just be careful. Think things through. Don't be so impulsive. Um, and you have all this energy, but just be cautious of how you spend that energy. And I've mentioned this before in one of my previous videos that now you have all this energy. Um, just be productive with that energy. So um, this is a reading. I hope it helps. If you need a personal reading, you're welcome to email me and all that good stuff. Um, bye.